Hey there, welcome to another episode of Legends with a Roy. <laughs> Today, I'm excited to tell you another story about Billy Bob the Knight. This one starts with Billy Bob taking a little bath. A splash splash, I was taking a bath. All about a Saturday night, a rabbit. I wonder who's at the door. So Billy Bob went up to the door and he opened it. And there before him were his friends, Stanley the Skunk and Porky. Now Porky was a porcupine, not a pig. A lot of people think the Porky is a pig. He's a porcupine. I have to say that a lot because people get confused. But I digress. Billy Bob said, what are you guys doing here? I was just taking my bath. And Porky was like, I know, Billy Bob, you're still wearing a towel. Billy Bob was like, oh, sorry, didn't have time to put my clothes on. But it's okay, it's a nice towel. And they're like, yeah, I know, but you see, we need your help, Billy Bob. You see, we've heard these really cool things about the wasteland. Billy Bob said, the wasteland, and he said, well, it's really the desert, but, you know, it's kind of like a wasteland, because a lot of the trees are dead, and it's really dry, and, well, anyways, we are looking for this very mythical thing there. You see, we have heard legends about this creature that lives there, and this creature has this pocket where it can put things, and, you see, we're pretty curious about what that could be. And Billy Bob said, well, my clothes have pockets. And they said, but it's different because you see, this creature has the pocket and it's built into them. And Porky's like, can you imagine what I could do with pockets? I mean, you know, I'm wearing these pants right now and they have pockets. But if I had pockets, that were like just pockets that were on me. I could have sandwiches in them. Oh, I could probably even have some cookies, <laughs> like snickerdoodles. <laughs> Billy Bob, did you ever think about how funny the word snickerdoodles is? <laughs> Billy Bob was like, hmm, snickerdoodles is a pretty funny word. Guess I never really thought about it. Snickerdoodles. <laughs> well, I guess we should go look for this creature. So Billy Bob, got some clothes on, and they set off. Now, it took a while to get to the desert, but finally they got there. And they looked around, and they said, I wonder where this creature is. And they looked and walked around for hours and hours and hours, and they didn't find it. Finally, Billy Bob was like, I don't know, guys. You know, did you, do you know if there's like a call or anything like that for this creature? And he said, I mean, we could do a little call and see if something comes. Billy Bob said, okay, well, what should we say? And Porky was like, I don't know. I mean, I usually don't like making noise because sometimes scary things come. And Stanley was like, well, why don't we just say, over here, over here over here and Billy Bob was like huh I, I don't know if that's gonna gonna get people on board what do you think Porky and he looked over and Porky was gone and then he looked over and up in one of those trees that was dead so there were no leaves Porky was hanging on and he was like oh, no. <laughs> do you think someone heard <laughs> Billy Bob was like well that's the point that someone hears not that why are you hiding come down Porky Porky came down Oddly enough, though, they heard a noise. Almost like a hopping. I don't know if that's exactly what hopping sounds like, but I'm doing my best here. So anyways, then suddenly they looked up. There it was. Billy Bob said, hello there, who are you? And it said, my name is Kevin. Kevin? The kangaroo. Billy Bob said, kangaroo? What a word. 
that is quite an interesting word. Cause you want like kangaroo and Debbie do it would make a good song. Like I see a kangaroo, a Debbie do. How are you? A do ba do do. A kangaroo, a Debbie do. A one two three and a kangaroo. <laughs> Kevin the Kangaroo was like, I, I guess that, that is a good toe tapper, but, um, who are you? And Billy Bob said, I am Billy Bob the Knight. This is my friend Stanley, and this, Porky, Porky, wherever you're hiding, come out. It's the creature you wanted to see. Porky stepped out and he said, it's the creature with the pockets. Hey, dear. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> and Kevin said, Well, I'm doing great. <laughs> Actually, my wife Kelsey is here as well. And then all of a sudden they heard more hopping and Kelsey appeared. Kevin and Kelsey. Again, Porky was hiding. They got Porky out. Porky was okay. Kelsey liked the song a lot more than Kevin did, and she started singing too. So then everybody was singing, a one and a two and a three. We got a kangaroo a looking at you, a one, two, three, and a bobbity bee. I like to play the kangaroo dance, a dance, 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 a jump, 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 a kangaroo, a bobbity boo, a one, two, three, a looking at you, a bobbity bee, a bobbity boo. <laughs> Pretty good song, you know. <laughs> And anyways, they had a whole lot of fun. And it turns out that Kevin and Kelsey had heard about Billy Bob. They said, you know, we heard about the time that you helped the beavers with that forest of all those trees, those ants that were moving around back and forth. <laughs> that was pretty crazy. <laughs> you see, these trees don't move around anymore because, um, well, they're dead. And, you know, trees that don't get water, they don't survive. That's why it's important that you water plants. And Billy Bob said, yes, I agree. Now, you see, the reason we came is we heard that kangaroos have a pouch or a pocket. And Kelsey said, yes, indeed. You see, I have this pocket here in my tummy. And it's where we carry baby kangaroos. Billy Bob said, well, that's pretty cool. <laughs> you see, I have pockets too. <laughs> and P Porky, Porky's wearing pants and he has pockets. And he has sandwiches. Porky, do you want to share those sandwiches? And Porky was like, uh, about that, Billy Bob. Um, I got kind of hungry and you see, the sandwiches weighed a whole lot and I ate them. Billy Bob was like, Porky, that was all of our food. Stanley was like, we should have known Billy Bob. He's always eating sandwiches. Billy Bob was like, I know. Ah, <sighs> well, it's okay. It doesn't, won't take us too long to get home. Well, it was good seeing both of you, and it was quite an adventure. But just then, Kevin looked up and he said, there's a sandstorm coming. Billy Bob said, a sandstorm? That sounds awful nasty. And Kevin said, yes, it is. You don't want to be part of a sandstorm. Billy Bob said, well, do you think I can outrun it? They said, I don't know. It's pretty hard for a living creature to outrun a sandstorm. But you might be able to, Billy Bob. But unfortunately, I don't think that Porky and Stanley can. Billy Bob said, hmm. Kelsey, can they sit in that pocket? He said, hmm, that might just work. So Porky and Steamy got in in Dulcie's pocket and they went and got the going. And she was going super fast and Kevin was going fast, but Billy Bob was going even faster. You know, some people say that he might have actually been the one that caused the sandstorm because his legs were moving so fast. <laughs> But that's not the case, because the sandstorm was already happening. But he did kick quite a bit of sand up. Now, it took about an hour of all-out sprinting. And then finally they got to the end. And the sandstorm had stopped behind them. And that was where Billy Bob, Stanley, and Porky took their leave of Kevin and Kelsey. And they said, it has been a pleasure 
We shall see you again, Kevin and Kelsey. And they said, thank you, Billy Bob. That was fun, and you really are fast. Kelsey was like, that was good, but that kind of hurt because that porcupine, he has quills. Quills, you know, they kind of hurt because it's like, <laughs> but, you know, she was really nice, so. Well, anyways, Billy Bob, Porky, and Stanley went home and went their separate ways. And Billy Bob said, oh, what a long night. Well, day, and now it's night. Time to get some rest. What was that? Billy Bob looked around and someone was at the door. But that, my friends, is another story for another day. <laughs> Well, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Legends with a Roy. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe. See ya.